Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. In this video, I want to show you how to move from your old iPhone to a new iPhone. In this case, I just got the iPhone 11. So, how can we do this? Let's check it out, guys. I actually did a video about this, but I didn't have the iPhone 11 yet. So now is the perfect time to do it with the iPhone 11 because I just got it yesterday. All right, guys. So this is, look, <laughs> immediately, guys, when you have an iPhone that is ready to be set up, like this one, and you get an iPhone nearby, this pop-up is gonna show up. And it's basically telling you if you want to use this iCloud account to set up this phone. So that's exactly what we want to do, guys. So we have the pop-up and look at this. Set up your new iPhone. This will transfer your current settings. I'm gonna put unlock to continue. And it says set up new iPhone, right? So I'm gonna put continue. And look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. And we're gonna put it on top. Let's see if this time it works. Yeah, he got it right there. So he said, finish on new iPhone. Enter passcode of your other iPhone. So basically I need to use the passcode that I used to use on my old phone. Okay, so that's some kind of security measures. So now it's gonna set up your iPhone, setting up your iPhone. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. We need to keep the phones close by so they can do the transfer. They're both using the same Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay, so now it's asking me for Face ID. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do the, all this setup later. So I'm just gonna skip the steps. And look at this, guys. Transfer your data. It says, you can directly transfer your data during setup or finishing download it later. So I'm gonna transfer it directly, guys. Transfer from iPhone. You can also transfer it from iCloud, but in order to do that, you need to do a iCloud backup first. If not, you're gonna get all content, all the information. So now I'm moving directly from my iPhone to the new iPhone. You can also do this with a computer, but some people don't have a MacBook or a PC. Terms and conditions, I will customize the settings. Keep your iPhone up to date, updates manually, location services, disable. Everybody wants to track your location nowadays, disable location services. You see, uh, Apple Pay, I will set it up later, Siri later, don't share and this is the true tone display right now if i click here you're gonna see how the display looks without the true tone so it's wider it's brighter but if i unclick it this is the true tone which is basically a little bit more yellow responding to the lighting conditions the actual lighting conditions so you can change that later i'm gonna click continue and now it's transferring data from iphone now it's transferring all my data to this new iphone I've been using the iPhone 7 for a couple of years already. It's a great phone, it still works. I was not gonna upgrade, especially because a lot of people are waiting for the iPhone 12 for the next year. Because iPhone has this thing that they only change the model every three years. So this is the last year of the current model with a notch. That's why people are waiting. They want to wait for the new one. I wanna point out that on the old iPhone, it's also giving me this signal, transferring data, time remaining 24 minutes. So you have confirmation messages from both phones. You know that they are interacting to each other right now. Okay guys, so it looks like we are about to finish. I want to show you, this is transferring data from an old iPhone to the new iPhone 11. Two more minutes. I was able to keep using this iPhone. I was texting, I was checking email. You can still use this iPhone while this transfer is, is happening. But uh, I wouldn't recommend it because it's better to do like a, leave the phone alone but if you need to use the iPhone, you can still use it. Yeah, guys, you can also do this transfer with a cable. Well, a couple of cables. You will need your lighting cable, and there is a camera adapter for the iPhone and the iPad that you can use to connect both phones. And that will be like a direct transfer. That is actually weird, guys. So have you ever heard somebody saying, you never know, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. That's completely, uh, it doesn't make sense. You never know, guys, you know? Okay, transfer complete, guys. We we're lucky that we saw the screen happening right away. Transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to your other iPhone. Before you trade in, give away, or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings. I'm gonna do that so I can sell this iPhone. But the transfer is complete. Now we're just waiting the iPhone to reset the new iPhone 11. This is the yellow color. The only one available, actually. But I think it's, it's good. I like it. 
I'm not going to lose it because it's so bright. The problem with the black phones is that when you put it on a surface that is black, chances are you're not going to see it anymore. So it's better if we have a yellow iPhone. But yeah, I don't have Apple Care or nothing. Oh, I have an appointment at the Apple Store actually. Restore completed. Look at that. Restore completed. Terms and conditions. Updating iCloud settings. Screen time. Later. Go home. Continue. Swipe so up further from the bottom edge, then release to show the recent apps. Quick access control. Swipe so down from the top right edge to open control center. Press and hold on a control to reveal more options. Welcome to iPhone. And yeah, guys, wow, this is my iPhone, huh? So now, I was telling you guys, all these graded uh, apps, they're still downloading. So it's going to take a while, but I'm sure that my pictures, yeah, look at that. My pictures are here, no problem. Uh, how about my text? Text messages. Well, calendars, I don't think I have anything. And look at this guy, so my computer says your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new iPhone. So this is the message you will get on your Mac. You transfer everything guys. Now I have to get used to the, the swipe because something I really like was the home button guys. It was like the, the first thing that um, I got used to on the iPhone. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. If you really want to help my channel guys, please subscribe to it. And don't forget to click the bell so anytime I upload a new video, you're going to get a message, an email, letting you know that I have new content. Thank you so much, guys. Have fun. Take care and bye.